Hey everyone, welcome back to Gamestra. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find the Ash of War Karian Grandeur here in Elden Ring. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So this Ash of War can be found in the Karia Manor that's located on the northern side of Liurnia of the Lakes. Now I highly recommend that you put down a marker in the exact location that you need to be so it makes it a little bit easier on yourself, which is gonna be just north of the main gate, Grace. And as you guys can see, there's a little area that's sticking out here. This is a small little bridge and we're going to put down a marker right in the middle of it because that is exactly where our Ash of War is. Now, if you have a couple of the graces throughout this manor, it will make it easier and you will be able to get this Ash of War a little bit quicker. But for the sake of the video, we're going to start from the main gate and I'm going to show you exactly how to get there without having to fight anything. So starting from the main gate, we're essentially going to work our way to the top of the manor. And to do that, we're going to stay on the main path and we're going to continue to sprint so that we don't have to fight any of the hands that are wandering around in this manner. So starting from the beginning, we're going to go straight and we're immediately going to take a left as we get to this statue. You guys will notice that around us, the hands start to spawn, but as long as we keep moving, we'll be able to get there without issue. We're going to come across a door. We're going to move through the door and up the hill. And as we're being attacked, we're going to continue to move. And as you guys can see, our marker is right here. On top of this is where our location is going to be. So we need to get on top of this little bridge. The hands will continue to come after you. And once you get up here, you're going to have another large hand that's going to shoot uh, a purple laser at you that can stun you. So just make sure that you don't get hit by this. You can dive if you want and see, as you can see, it grabbed me. The hand is going to try to get me, but this doesn't last too long. So if you do get hit by it, it's not too big of a deal. And obviously the hand can't make it through the door. So once you're in here, you're pretty much safe from everything that we just ran by. We're going to work our way up the stairs. And when you get to the top, you'll encounter your first grace. So if you have this grace, great. If you don't, make sure you have it. So in case you die, you can start from here. Now, once we have this grace, we're going to work our way outside. And you guys will see that we are now on the upper layer. And all we're going to do is go straight through this. And we're going to go up the staircase on the back end. Now, keep in mind, as we're sprinting through here, we're going to have a lot of guys start spawning. All we have to do is just keep sprinting by them and we won't have to fight any of them. So we're going to go around this giant structure. Continue down this bridge without falling off. And as you can see, they're going to continue to spawn everywhere. Don't worry, you will be fine. Just keep moving. I'm regain my stamina really quick. We're going to take a left. And we're going to work our way up the stairs now when you get into this doorway you guys will notice that there is a lift now currently i do not have the lift here i need to call it down so let me do that really quick now if you haven't been in the manor yet the lift will have already been here but because i've already been through the manor multiple times it wasn't but once you get inside step on the middle button it'll take you up and we'll let this guy ride for a second and once we get to the top you guys will notice another door as well as another grace. If you have this grace, this video will be way easier, but if you don't, now you do. Now, when we come out this door that's located right next to this grace, we're pretty close. We have two wolves that we need to worry about. Now, I've ran this route multiple times. Sometimes the wolves will attack you, sometimes they won't. What I would recommend doing is going left, staying away from the one on the right, getting close to this one, and then maybe crab walking. You can sprint by him. Sometimes he'll come after you, sometimes he won't. It really just depends. Now, a lot of people think you need to go through the entire manor to get to this thing, as it appears you need to drop down over there, and then you can drop down on the bridge, but we can actually get down a little bit easier. Now, it really doesn't matter which direction you go here. You really just want to pay attention to where you're dropping. As you can see, there's a lot of different ledges. I'm just going to go random here just to show you guys that it's not that difficult. I'm going to drop down here, another ledge here. I see another one over here I'm going to drop to, and then boom, we're at the bottom. Now, once we get to the bottom, these guys are going to try to attack us. Once we start moving, we're just going to run west and jump off the ledge. So we're going to go over here. And as you can see, we're just going to hit the little drop off here. There's plenty of room. And once we drop off, we're going to continue moving this way. And we're going to drop off once again. And here is the bridge that we need to be on. And all you need to do is jump over this ledge. And right here will be your Ash of War. But this is how to find the Ash of War Carrion Grandeur here in Elden Ring. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video.